Hey everyone, The Flying Manager here, and you're probably wondering, why is part 3 coming after part 4? Now, parts 1, 2 and 4 are on my channel already, but part 3 was copyright claimed. And so was part 4, so I tried to upload part 4 to see if it worked, it did, because I made it all blurry and red, you know, hardly visible for you guys to see. And I'm going to have to do the same with this video, because otherwise it will get copyright claimed. So it goes parts one, two, four, then three, and then five will be the final one. But if you look at my playlist, go to my playlist, very important, go to my playlist, The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya. Check this out, yeah. And you can watch them like, you can watch them on the playlist. It'll, I think it will arrange it or something, I don't know. But just watch it in the audio, yeah? just look at the title, and it's easy. Yeah. I'm not gonna say, you know, uh, audio this, audio that, comments this anymore because there's no point. Because Kadoa uh, Corporation or whatever it's called, um, who own the uh, disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, they're the ones that copyright all the time. But uh, yeah, part three, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. You never get one girl in anime that can't cook, can you? I mean, do you? Oh, so she lives in probably like four doors up from Nagato. They live in the same apartment, pretty much. Apartment building. She's probably like... 11 stories above her. <laughs> really? <laughs> that little flirtatious, uh, really. And he doesn't care, he doesn't like you. You try killing him in season one, he's never going to forgive you for that. She doesn't want you to leave. She's like Mr. Bean, she doesn't say much, but she makes her emotions clear. What are you saying? You will literally be that starving, you won't even be able to move. <laughs> yeah, right. It is, isn't it? No, that's a myth. Uh, there's nothing worse than hearing two girls talking about clothes. Then again, Nagato isn't even responding, so... She's kind of annoying, yeah, especially when you don't even know what they're talking about. There's nothing worse than being at a table with a bunch of women that just talk about their flipping how their day's been. You don't know whether to feel included or not.
Oh, well, that's, that's cheered her up. I take it she's completely forgotten about, you know, the way you throttled her the first time you met her. Yeah, and you look like a character out of flipping clan ad. No, canon, canon. Or oh, canon. She looks like a character out of canon. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. <laughs> he likes little little uh, blonde girls or little small girls with big breasts. That's his. That's his favorite. She'll slaughter you. Is she bye bye? The only person that is keeping their distance from Kieran is Miss Asahino. He, sh he shouts at the blue haired girl. He throttles Nagato, yet both of them still talk to him. And then again, he did, he did talk about Miss Asahino's uh, mole, so she ain't going to talk to him. Especially seeing as he's older than her. What's with the old fashioned bike? I ask myself that question sometimes too. Why me? Yeah, it's time to wake up. Cue Kieran's little sister and go. Yeah, it's weird. I remember that.
Hello? Wait, what? Wait, he, he does know who she is. Oh crap. Kieran's about to flip out. Oh my god. He is really, really angry, isn't he? Oh, crap. Calm the fuck down, mate. Calm down. Harry he being a snobby rich kid doesn't quite add up. But does it look like he has a fever? Run, Kieran, run. <laughs> this remember this reminds me of you know the the video Shape of You by Ed Sheeran? This reminds me of this. When he's running next to the train. No. My guy has to wait out there for an hour. Jesus. I don't remember her. Muhammad, I'm surprised you're even allowed to mention that name in cartoons or anime. Last time South Park mentioned that, they had to pull the episode. There she is. Looks like she didn't disappear after all. Uh -huh. They just, you know, switched schools. I'm just, I'm waiting for the music to kick in. Why do birds 
suddenly appear. You know, it, it would really suit this uh this atmosphere, wouldn't it? His eyes bouncing up and down. His pupils are going up and down, look. Say something. Say something, damn it. Move your ass. There we go. Her, is it me or does the animation of Haruhi look slightly different? It looks, she looks a lot older, doesn't she? Even though she isn't. But the animation definitely, definitely changed on her. I'm even questioning how he even knows your first name. There we go. There, oh my god, stop throttling girls. He grabbed hold of him and goes like that, didn't he? Stop throttling girls, for Christ's sake. Look at people just like standing watching. Oh shit, what was that for? <laughs> John Smith. <laughs> All around me a familiar face is What? 
I think that's when he went back in time, didn't he? You know, he went back in time and called to her. And she looked around like, who the hell said that? When she was little. He's talking about when she was little and he called out to her. From behind the bush. Look at his jump, look at his uh, his uniform, it has an M. It's like, what do you do, work at McDonald's? <laughs> oh yeah, at the very end of season two, he tells her about the espers and the aliens, and she sort of shrugs it off like, yeah, stop playing around. And now he's telling her here, she believes him. It's funny because Harry he can shout and she just completely blocks the outside world, doesn't she? She only cares about who's in front of her. <laughs> look at look at the, the Jesus Christ. She's nosy, look, trying to figure out what they're saying. Basically, you're saying you're a snobby, uh, you're a snobby, clever kid. <laughs> Here we go. Gonna draw some diagrams. So the little man on the bottom was trapped and the little man on the top went forward. He's just mocking him now, isn't he? Oh, so he's told her his na his nickname's Keone. Yeah. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's like, my name's John Smith, but people call me Keone. <laughs> Stick with John Smith, Keone sucks. Oh yeah, she just walks out of the restaurant, leaving him with the bill.
Then the girl, girls would probably be allowed to get away with that. Mm, unrequited love. The worst kind. Makes you jealous? That's quick. About a week ago. <laughs> About a week ago. She ain't moving though. You didn't think his legs were so long. What about Mr. Koizumi over there? His legs are even longer. That's it, John. Keep look out. <laughs> oh my god. As I was about to say, how can you be in the freezing cold in just a short sleeve t shirt? Oh, per pervy Keone to the rescue. Excellent. Oh my god. He looks frozen. Oh. Oh god. People say that when you're in the cold and you're running, you feel warmer. It's not true though. What's calligraphy? <laughs> Koizumi is still shaking. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Oh. 
by Hilary. Shut up. Shut up, Meg. This cutie with the big boobs sums up Miss Asahina, doesn't it? And Kien's type. Who's <laughs> John Smith? <laughs> And that's it. We've gotten halfway, well not halfway, half an hour through that. Hope you enjoyed that review. Like I said, I recorded it in a weird way because of copyright. Part one, part two, then part four, then part three, then part five. But just watch them in order, okay? But uh, yeah, I've got to make the picture really bad, you know, to beat copyright and all that. But then I'm going to start recording Angel Beats and I'm going to, you know, Get the pitch and normal again and just blur out the audio. Yeah, can't wait, guys. I'll see you in part five. Stay tuned. I'm out. Sure, bye bye.